Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Ternata Canyon to Random New World campaign here in uh, E4, that's what we're playing now. Uh, I just finished up my Greece Let's Play in uh, Victoria 2, so that's why I stuttered, if that's what that's called right there. Anyways, we are back. Uh, it's a while now, definitely a while since I've played this. Uh, one good thing about that though is that I've been able to read your comments and uh, and get even more potential names for colonies, and some of you have even been so nice and thanked me for the names that I gave. And that warms my heck. I actually, yeah, I uploaded every episode that I have recorded so far, except for this one, but I haven't actually recorded this one yet, so... Yep, yep, just double-checked, and I have indeed. Episode 17. So this is episode 18, then, uh, that we are on. And uh, we're finding this guy, it seems. The uh, Tarnatian something something war. A little bit this guy, so surely that will come in due time. Uh, surely we shall invade you guy, you, this guy as well. Do we even need to fabricate claims? I don't think we do. Haven't we stacked modifiers so much at this point that it doesn't matter? Depends on what deity I have. No, I have Shiva, so yeah. Well, yeah. If I remember the math correctly, we don't actually need claims, so there's no point in wasting our time on it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I need to... First place of the revolution. Didn't I crush that last time? I guess I never technically killed it. I don't know how you do that. I, th I think maybe the option never popped up because I didn't kill it, or I didn't declare war on the revolutionary, the revolutionary target. I sort of just happened to be at war while that went down. Oh man, such a large navy. Uh, is it divided for a reason? I don't know, like, do we have truces with these people? I should probably look over this uh, without showing it on YouTube. What? Austria doesn't like me anymore? What's that? Did, did I know that? Is that some, Is that news? Because that's news to me. Uh, oh well, uh, I guess we'll just have to invade Holland the hard way. Uh, regardless though, uh, I do believe one nation I do want to invade uh, is the British. We do have no truce with them, uh, but they have a massive amount of clay. That, that is indeed rightfully my clay, so uh, it uh, is indeed a nation I want to invade, and this guy too, with his funny flag. Actually, can I just declare war and make my colonial nation do that for me? Or no, he's rebellious. So I think he's going to be a bitch. I think he's going to be a bit of a bitch about it. I mean, I do have an, an army here, so let's actually send that down here. Go eat up this colonial nation while we while we prepare to go to war with Britain. Wesley Land, Shufli. How are the colonial regions? Like, how do they look? I I know I was supposed to do this off camera, but okay. So. Yeah, so we, we should be able to take this colony too. Uh, it depends though, it depends if we have enough war score. Yeah, this is the one I really want though, as I have declared before. I want all of this, all of this, and I'm okay with there being some northern colonies up here that are not going to be incorporated into our realm. Uh, that is just how things will have to be. Sadly, but true. Anyways then, off we are to war with Britain. Let's see. Um, I don't have... where are my armies? Yeah, I'm gonna go off camera again. Alright, war with this guy is over. And he will be incorporated. So now I'll give Northern Gapiland some... something to do while we all wait. For more interesting things to happen. Uh, yeah, I should probably just get ready for my war against Britain. I don't think there's really anything stopping us. I, I got the feeling we were recently at war, though, because we don't really have that many regiments lying around. I think a lot of them have died. Our mind power is all the way up, though, so yeah, I think we are just... We are just struggling with the sheer lack of units. Yeah, we need to seem... Yeah, we, just, we should probably just build up our armies and build up everything. Get me transports and get me units. Alright, uh, my Lindy is done. Though it says 99% war scores, and I'm scared that there are some territories I'm missing, but I see no red on the map. So, uh, hopefully this will work. It's quite expensive. At least compared to the other things we're taking. Oh, for fuck's sake. Pick our land, get your shit together. Where are these... Oh yeah, it's my vassal. 
You know, my, vassal, my vassals are not the most stable bunch, are they? Well, I do have this army uh, lying around for a reason, so let's go help out our shite vassals. P. Carline, where even is where even is that? Hopefully, it's not some crazy place. <laughs> I have already forgotten where these places are. I can't find it. Um, well, this guy has this guy has some issues. Let's go deal with this. Also, yeah, I invaded Kiowa. Glad you should know. Although I think we can afford a just a, just a quick little war with uh, with Ava before we do anything else. Vu and Ava. Am I scared of Vu? No, I'm not scared of Vu. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do want some overextension, just chilling in the background while I am uh, fighting the British. It's all about that multitasking. So let's go against this guy, and then we'll cobble. Actually, no, it would make more sense to invade this guy. And then cobble it into Ava, so I can separate piece out him rather rapidly. Conquest or not? Let's do imperialism. I think you have to pay less diplo that way. Take capital Canton. Well, that is sort of what I do intend to do, so that makes sense. Huh. I actually reached a point where I have too much admin. Who would have thought that was physically possible? Am I even focusing on that? Yeah, I am. Maybe I should stop that. Uh, I don't know, though. I, I feel like we're going to need that admin. And you can, you can change that focus so rarely that I think I want to keep it. And we always have some pointless ideas we can get ourselves while we wait for... Tech costs to go down or other things to happen. Alright, Ava is done. Or not. Okay. So for some reason we have to wait a little bit longer because the length of war modifier is not allowing us to do what we want. Okay, game, if you say so. Hey, I found Picard land. Good. For me. Alright, Ava has realized it's game over, so... Why does I? Why do I have to pay? Oh, oh well. Yeah, it's fine. Or that shit. And that. Wow. Imagine how expensive this must be if it. You know, if I don't have these uh, these discounts. And that's actually a good point. The fact that I get war exhaustion does indeed increase the the cost of it. Right now, that's fine. But that that is an argument for actually continuing to fabricate claims because fabricating claims can offset that. And hello, Wu army. Ugh, oh, annoying. Oh, kill is done. Very nice. Full annex, please. Give me your trade power. Let us make some cores, eh? And let's get this army over to Europe to brace or to prepare for our invasion of Britain. Try to kill. Did I kill it? Yeah, I must have killed their navy. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I I click away the pop up so automatically at this point. I usually always do that though, and it's it's really not that smart because it's uh, it's happened multiple times that I miss something rather important. So, all right, it seems like we can get what we want. I mean, look at that war score. That is crazy cheap. Madness indeed. Uh. I think this is reasonable. Uh, this will give us pretty nice borders indeed. I don't think I want to bother much with this. Uh, and if I do decide and change my mind, we can always uh, declare more wars. The, the game might be... It might only have like 50 years left, but you know, surely that is time enough for another war if I, for whatever reason, change my mind. Stop having friends. Make vassals or nations happen and wait does that cost me a diplo it does uh, so let's not do that then i do value my diplo actually i have too much diplo so sure we'll have some fun make some silly nations happen there it is uh yeah Copyland Trester Fleet. For fuck's sake, Copyland. Stop giving me inflation. Alright, here we go. So now we have some nice overextension that we can sit and chill with uh, while we wait. Right, do I have any uh, 
transports who are not doing anything right now? Surely. Because we need to go to England. Or Britain, I should say. <laughs> there are revolutionaries attacking Spain. Yep. Revolutionary Spain, nonetheless. Uh, that's funny. Good time, good times. Oh. And so we are back. Uh, I do hope I remember to edit that. Because I don't need you guys looking at my Facebook. I'm sure you're nice and all, but... Um, uh, you know. You know how it is. Anyways, uh, back to our plan. Planned war against the English. Uh, actually, ha oh, hello. Uh, why is this navy here exactly? Who knows these days. Get it down here. Actually, since there are transports there. So, no, never mind. I just sent transports there. Uh, whatever then. Yeah, we're, we're getting pretty, pretty close to war with England. Oh, fuck's sake, now my timer died as well. No, I didn't. I just never started it because I'm smart. Wow. It takes so long to cross the freaking seas that by the time we are even going to start this war, um, we're not going to have any overextension. So this war was... Or my justification for that war wasn't really justified now, was it? Oh well, our borders are nicer now. So I would be happy with having this as endgame borders. This, on the other hand, needs some work. Don't... Shufli. No! You con uh, you conquered my colony? How dare you? How dare you? Now I must exterminate you. No! My awesome king died. The next king is pretty decent too though, so it's fine. Well, he's tried in military, but that's fine. I usually have enough uh, military points. So I am not too worried. Right, so uh, we have some colonies collapsing in the new world, but that's fine. Uh, could do no, um... I intend to annex you, so who are you fighting? Revolutionary Spain, ah, perfect. Timing, timing. British Milan Imperialist War. Huh. Ooh, someone is beating up Holland. I'm always a fan of people beating up Holland. Always a good time. The Pope, doesn't matter, Brand oh, Brandenburg, really? Well, this might be a time to invade Holland then. We'll see. Imperialism, uh, Raputere. Who are you? I assume that would be some colony. Yep, that's some some derp colony. Elodia. Oh, that's annoying, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna get him out of the war. Okay, so who are you, Ally? To you're Ally. Just grab it. Yeah. So uh, there would be no there would be no damage done if I. Uh, Made him a cold belligerent. So, Rupitere and everyone else can just do whatever. Sadly, there will be no Austrian help this time around and never again. But that will have to be as it is. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's have the Doom stack go there. And then the somewhat less Doomy stack go here. Take over the strait of uh, the Irish Strait or whatever the strait is called from both sides. Fucking strategy right there. And these guys need to go down here to do some some troop. I was about to say henting, which is uh, what the fuck is henting in English? You know, I don't even know. Getting. Uh, doesn't feel like it doesn't mean uh, I don't know doesn't matter I'm gonna get those armies anyways yeah I was supposed to send a uh, genocide army up there but then uh, this guy decided to collapse again so we need to send some troops down there to All right we're back again uh, I really hope it doesn't start crashing like that all the time because that would be annoying Get ourselves some attack. Ooh, enlightened despotism. Now that's a type of absolutism that sounds pretty badass. It's not as good as absolute market though, so I guess I just won't take it. Oh, that sucks. Enlightened despotism. That looks really cool. Oh, there are more bonuses than I could see. I oh, know there's not. 
Yeah, no, there's not. Well, I guess I'll keep my absolute monarchy then. <laughs> I've just never actually gotten to the point where you can get uh, enlightened despotism. Because usually I'm so far behind in admin that it's just never an option. Oh, come on. No. Ugh. Uh, 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 never mind, it it lived. Yeah, something is weird. I, I did check whether or not... Um, oof. That is going to be an expensive amount of crap. Yeah. Oh, but I did want these two as well, though. Crap, seems like I have to make a choice. I cannot have all the colonies, so I guess this is not as a big deal. Huh. We are now accepting Bengali. How nice. How many troops do you even have, Britain? Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's no joke. Uh, although, I, I, I've got a feeling you're roaming around in Spain or something, so I'm actually going to take a bit of a risk here. I'm just going to land some troops on your face. Ching! Oh god, that's a wall of text. <laughs> well, she is... not high enough level, so nope. Although now I'm over my limits, so that also didn't really gain me much. Uh, I guess it's... Uh, I really, um, well, she can fight like one battle and then I'll kick her out probably. Ooh, can get another idea group though. Uh, probably a military one. We need something to spend our military crap on. Or maybe even a diplo idea, I don't even know. I'm not going to be doing any diplo annexations. That's, there's too late in the game for that now, so that's not going to happen. Maritime, nah, I think just uh, defensive ideas for that 15% uh, that boost to morale. Uh, you can't really go wrong with that, can you? Let's dankify our army a bit. Influence. No, no, as I said, it's just too, too, too late in the game now. Yeah. Although I really, actually, we can... Take another tech. Didn't we just take a tech? Okay, maybe that was in before the game crashed. I don't know. I don't even know. Oh well. Yeah, we're we're just doing too well in tech. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with. Well, actually, um, actually, I can regret that now. Yeah, let's ditch this and take a diplo idea because um. Because our current king, who I assume is... Uh, yeah, he's really young, so he's going to stay around for a while. And he has a lot of Diplo, so we're going to be gaining a lot more Diplo. So having having a Diplo, Diplo idea will probably be better, actually. Because we'll actually be able to do something with our points. Sh should we do espionage? That might be hilarious. Agitate? Yeah, I'm, uh, I can be a fan of that. Just because it's hilarious. We, we have money enough, so I don't really care enough to do trade. Uh, not, nothing of these are, like at this point, not, none of these are super useful. So let's do espionage, just for the lulls. Just for the lulls. Alright, so Great Britain is rapidly falling and dying off. Uh, so, but that was never really in doubt though. Um, so I think like the biggest threat here will probably be uh, Prussia and figuring out exactly how I'm going to get them out of the war so I can get the war score needed. No! Oh, okay. Always just just a second of panic, you know, when you when you do not know whether or not you're going to be crashing. Well, all right, so now things are going to get scary. I have to invade Prussia, uh, not completely, but to the point where I can piece them out. Because look at this, we're completely occupying Britain and we have 25 war score. It's sad. I am working on uh, this idiot, trying to convince him that this war is silly and that he should just not be in it. I don't know if I can get him out right now. Oh, really close actually, so surely if I just occupy some more of his land, he will be all about that. Alright, we can get Elodia out now and I don't want him in the war anymore. I need my troops so I can go beat up Prussia. This will also exile him, so I might even be able to walk all the way up to Prussia, which would be funny. Alright. Uh, blocked by a fort, okay. So yeah, now the invasion of Prussia begins. Hopefully they are not super hyped about this war. Although I do 
think I want to use this war to my advantage. It would be a wonderful uh, opportunity to go beat up Holland. He has clay that I desire, so... Uh, we'll see. First we have to face off with the Prussian Space Marines, so that will be fun, surely. What? From Oh my god, I despise that so much. Yeah, guess what? My allies are off killing themselves again. That would be my colonial agents, because they do not know how to cooperate, and as a result, they're ruining my war score. Uh, annoying, annoying, annoying. No! Really? Really? I was not able to take it back in time? But I definitely... I re... I definitely... Ah, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. They were not able to occupy that much. Oh well, the cores are not gone, we'll just have to take it back, take it back. I actually think, like, regardless of what the Dutch are up to right now, I think I'm gonna go to war. Uh, just because I want to. I need some land of theirs, and uh, seeing as there's a bunch of nations here that would normally join, like Austria, that are just not gonna join now. Trust minus a thousand, I don't know what that's all about, but... Yeah, Austria is the defender of the fate. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter. We are going to invade. Acquire his clay. Which actually means we're going to be at war with this army, so that's awkward. Uh, well, well, I guess that'll give us something to do. Take take the clay. Alright, let's see this battle. Let's see if we can win. Are we strong enough? Shit, we might not actually be strong enough. Okay, so well, actually we were. Yeah, his morale was better, but... Um, it's in the long run, that didn't super matter. Oh my god, what the fuck? Wait, we're fi- It said Austria would not join! What? And- Oh, really? Now the rebels are taking Britain back? Ah, oh, shite. Okay, so this war was a mistake then. Whoops! Whoopsie daisy. Uh, no leader. Oh, that's great. Can't support though. Oh god, <laughs> okay. Yeah, this war was a dumb, dumb, dumb mistake. Quite literally, it was a mistake. Uh, I never intended for this to happen, okay. Crap, what the fuck though, it said they would not join. That's such horseshit. Ah, oh, really? That is lagtastic. Please let me just siege this so I can get... Well, maybe I can... Ah, oh, come on, take it. Hope someone else goes to invade. The Palatinate, okay. So he is fighting someone else that is distracting him, distracting him, I guess. There is at least that. If I can... I uh, I will have so many more opportunities to do stuff. Once I get this place. Ah, damn it, he just retook that. Well, that sort of kills my opportunity. There's, is this bugged or something? Why doesn't it move? Why is it, like, stuck at 49%? Seriously! It says that defenders are deserting and everything. But no progress is made. Well, and there, there it is all of a sudden taken. Now please, Brandenburg, let me out of this war. They're so painfully close. Is there nothing I can offer? War operations. Will not betray ally for gold. Oh, that's it shitty fucking uh, modifier. Damn you, Paradox! Ah, there it is. Okay. All fucking praise God and shit. Now, let's hope that he doesn't just immediately join again. That would be awkward. Oh, crap. There's gonna be a battle here. That I'm not a fan of. Why are they so... Out of this world superior to me. Oh, don't squish my army, no. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. That, well, that was 80, 100,000k units. Just whoop, whoop. Dead, dead. What? Comox gained independence. Oh, man, I'm not having any of this. Reconquest, die! Ah, this guy has at least fallen. So we can annex him. Very good. 
that's at least some progress. Really? Spanish bullshit crap? Are you... Oh my god. Ah, uh, it's making me so sad and then frustrated. Why? Like, I just don't understand. Why? I mean, I, I think what happened is that the... Um, since the Austrians is are the emperor, that's why the... Um, that's why they joined up. But still, and also, how come I have 52 war score when I occupy pretty much everything? Yeah, my idiot vassals keep losing battles, that's part of the reason. I'm not gonna get out of this war without getting what I want. I mean, I might be able to uh, reduce my demands a bit. No, not really, I want this. I will have it. Oh, now the game probably crashed again, didn't it? No, 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 it didn't. Seems like if you just, like, the second the game freezes, you just stop doing everything you're doing, then it's fine. Well, better anyways. Alright, we can do another war against, or win another war against the natives. Annex their faces. Now, we need to gather our forces, and, and of course, yeah, the Spanish annex, like, a corridor. <laughs> um... Just to make it so that I cannot actually walk over there. Thank you, Spanish. Well, not Spanish anymore, but previously Spanish colony. Oh god, yeah, once more. The enemy just out morales us like crazy. <laughs> you know what, I'm actually super tempted to change my mind again on this whole shall we take an... Yeah, we're gonna do that. We actually... We actually need a fucking... Uh, we need some defensive. We need that. We need that morale bonus. 50% morale, there it is. Smart tradition, maneuver, land maintenance. Yeah, it's really just that uh, that 50%. That's that's the important part. Oh my though, but it is important. Well so yeah, I decided we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take over Venice because that's the only thing I can take from the Austrians without them being able to do anything about it. See if I can occupy it before they get any derps around here. We should be able to block this straight. Which will be very nice. Oh, there comes an army, and... Nope. <laughs> nope! No can do. Alright, so... And then we just sit there, I guess, and walk out a bit. Surely that is not enough to get... Nah, I know that's not enough to get him out of the war. So why am I even checking? <laughs> really? Well, that was bad timing, so now the now Hainaut is the Emperor, meaning that uh, Austria's purpose in this war is now just no, no longer existing. Ooh, look at that little juicy army, that's tempting as shite to go eat that. That's risky though. Fuck it, we can afford. We can afford some risks, surely. Just numb up some of that enemy war score and then we will r quickly run away before the enemy doomstack comes. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, Netherlands. Oh, wait, Netherlands. Ah, okay. So we got Holland and Netherlands. 10 out of 10. Brilliant. Could actually ally them if things weren't so bad. Nah, that's not a lot of cores, Netherlands. You, you, but, well, good on you for trying. Is he Flemish? Oh, he's Dutch. He's Dutch. Alright, so I think something is a bit funny with the game. It keeps freezing. Uh, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, rather than just straight up restarting, I think we're going to just end the episode. I am sure it has been long enough anyways. And in the next episode, we will try and figure out a way to deal with this. Wait, we're back at war with Brandenburg. <laughs> How? How does that even work? The game said very specifically that Brandenburg would not join, Austria would not join. But here they are. Here they are. Yeah, I don't know. The game is just being silly. And the demands that I say here now it reads again. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't even know if you can hear this commentary or if it's just gonna be lagging out and not happening. Who knows? Okay, um, 
Yeah, the amount of crap we have to give in order to get out of the war is just unacceptable. So, I am unsure exactly how we're going to deal with this. Oh, they won't even give the previous offer. Won't even let me hover over things. Uvel. Yeah, they basically want all I have ever taken from them, and that's not happening, so... I want all this Spanish crap as well. Did I take that from... No, this was Spanish, so... I don't know what these guys are blabbering on about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before the game freezes again, I'm just gonna end the episode. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.